Hey there guys, so I've got a 2018 Subaru Outback Touring and I'd like to carry a canoe on the top of the vehicle. So the vehicle came with these really nice Thule crossbars. The first thing I did was spread them to about, I think, 41 inches, which is kind of the maximum they can be spread to kind of distribute the weight of the canoe a bit more easily. I also just purchased um, four of those Thule Portage uh, gunnel brackets for the, for the vehicle. So securing the boat to the top of the vehicle is no problem. However, there's literally nowhere under the vehicle to attach um, the, the lines from the bow and the stern of the boat. This is a problem. So a great solution for tying the front of the boat uh, down to the car are these hood loops. Um, I think Yakima makes these, Thule makes these, I found these, uh, Sherpa pack. Um, these were at REI and I think they were like seven dollars. So I'm going to kind of show you how I installed these So I was kind of looking for a good solid place to secure uh, these hood loops under the hood. So If you look on the on both sides of the vehicle There are these kind of plastic or cardboard or whatever covers. There are two little plastic uh, pop pins or whatever they're called that you take off and you're exposing these kind of different bolts down here. Um, I chose this bolt because this bolt has, it looks like plastic underneath it, and I didn't want to put too much pressure on top of that plastic. So all you do is really easy. You just unscrew this guy, um, drop this in here. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Uh, screw this in, and um, Actually, I did that upside down because there's a little um, kind of seating area here for the bottom of the bolt, which is kind of nice. It makes it a little bit lower. So you attach this tightly, flip this guy around, and the strap kind of runs out of the vehicle like this. Um, I've practiced this and I've closed the hood, and there's actually a little bit of space in there so I don't feel like it's putting too much pressure on the paint or anything. So here's what it looks like on the other side. Um, I put this little cover back on and you can just see that this kind of just pulls out. I think I'll kind of just store it in here when I'm not um, hauling the boat. So here's what they look like when the hood is closed. So I think this is going to work great for the front. So for the back um, there's really uh, nowhere, of course, to tie the boat to in the back, um, and I don't have a hitch um, installed. So I think what I'll do is probably use the, uh, this back uh, tow pin and just kind of run the cord from the back of the canoe to the tow pin. So you can see here how I had to kind of face the Thule um, portage brackets uh, to the outside because the gunnels lined up such that I couldn't, they wouldn't fit on the outside to have them kind of facing towards the uh, center. So when you put on the Thule gunnel brackets onto this bar, they line up more or less parallel with the top of the bar which is what a few degrees off from the gunnel of the boat so that was actually a big problem and i was kind of concerned and almost returned everything and i kind of panicked until i purchased a uh no like a seven dollar floor mat from a car and kind of cut it up to make kind of that little pillow in there to keep this bracket uh, uh parallel here's what the Thule portage clip looks like when it's right on top of the crossbar without the floor mat as a buffer that's definitely not parallel with the boat. So using the tow pin on the back of the car worked perfectly to hold the back of the canoe tightly down. Okay, let's see what a thousand miles of wear looks like on the car uh, below these hood loops. This is almost all highway driving, a um, little bit of gravel road. Let's see. Huh. 
interesting. Oh well, it's a Subaru.